and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a logo for your account on Scratch. So I'm in the Scratch project. I'm a new project. I'm going to go to costumes and I'm going to delete this costume. Then I'm going to select my Scratch cat and delete him. We're going to be making a rounded logo. So I'm going to select my circle tool and I'm going to set the fill to some reddish color that I like. You can of course set it to any color you want. Then I'm going to make a small circle like that and then press Command C and Command V or Control V to duplicate. Then I'm going to line it up exactly with that other circle so it's side by side. Then I'm going to select both of them and copy them by going to here. Then I'm going to drag it down a little bit like that. So we have these four squares sitting right here with nothing to do. I'm going to select my box tool or my rectangle tool, then use the rectangle and draw a rectangle in between these circles like this. I want it to be lined up exactly so you can see no imperfections. I'm going to move my circle around so it looks cool. Then I'm going to copy this rectangle and put it on the other side. Lining it up exactly. Okay, now let's do it for the bottom. I'm going to select my rectangle tool again and create a rectangle. And move this down. Then I'm going to make it come down like that and duplicate it like that. Our logo, oh wait, hold on. I'm going to move the circle down a little bit. Move it down. Okay. So we have this rounded square. I'm going to fill it in with some other color. Not red. I mean, not this pink color. A little more red. Okay. So we're going to select the text tool. And I'm going to switch it to this font I like, which is marker. And I'm going to write the first letter of my username, which is Sully Bully. I'm going to type in an S, and I'm going to change the fill to white so I can see it better. Then I'm going to select the S and make it bigger. Not too big. Then I'm going to rotate it a little bit to the left like that. Make it a little bit smaller. Okay. Next, I'm going to select the rectangle tool. And then I'm going to make the fill. I'm going to select our rounded circle color and I'm going to make it a little bit darker so it's like a shadow. Then I'm going to make a rectangle in the back like that. Then I'm going to press this back button right here to make it move to the back of our S. Then I'm going to use these handles. I'm going to use the reset tool. And then I'm going to use these handles to control the angle of our shadow. So I can move it like that, like that. And then I'm going to click anywhere to make a new point. I think I'll move my S out of the way. Just for now. I'm going to move it back. Okay, so I'm going to do this little circle right here, this little angle, shadow I mean, and you can see we have a shadow, that looks pretty nice, but this end here is pointy, so I'm going to zoom in, and you create a new point along these edges right here, then I can be able to control these curves, like that. Oops. I'm gonna do that. It's looking rather ugly. The end right there. I'm gonna undo that. Okay. So I'm going to create a new point. Put it right there. Create a new point and put it right there, and then edit that curve like that. 
So we have this nice looking logo. I'm gonna go into our code and set the size to something bigger like 200 or 300. Then I move it to the middle. And if you're on Windows, you're gonna have to open up the snipping tool. And on a Mac, I can press Command Shift 4 to open up this snapshot or screenshot <clears throat> program. Then I'm gonna go to my to the edge of the logo right here, not right here. Then I'm going to select and drag my mouse like that so it selects the entire logo. <clears throat> and I'm gonna release. Then on the snipping tool, you should go to save as and save it on your desktop. I'm gonna go to my scratch account now, go to my profile. Then I'm going to go under my logo right here. For a new scratcher, it should be some scratch cat. Then I'm going to press change. I'm going to select my screenshot, whichever one. And then I'm going to press open. So thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope to see you in the next one.